can I provide just one of the documents and will that be sufficient or do I need to provide all three of those documents? And do not submit those pictures because now if you are someone who has been eyeing the crown of Miss India for the longest time, then this video is exactly what you needed. and welcome back to my channel today i'm back with a very special announcement and a very highly requested video that is it's that time of the year femina miss india 2023 has now been announced and the registrations are open i know you guys have been requesting a video on this topic and all the details regarding it as to how to register what to keep in mind for the auditions and so many more things for the longest time i know i've been reading those messages and those comments as well and i do gotta explain because i care about my youtube family a lot so yes i know i would have made this video go up on the very day that the auditions were announced but i was getting my smile makeover done in mumbai let me know how you guys like it and can you tell the difference but more about the smile makeover later there is a whole vlog coming out very very soon with the entire procedure but coming back to the miss india 2023 announcement the registrations for femina miss india 2023 opened up a few days ago and the last date to register is the 31st of december 2022 so we still have a few weeks to get all of our documents our photos in place and give this pageant our best shot i know the announcement came as quite a surprise for a lot of you because usually these auditions don't start until february but this time the organization has decided to prepone things a little bit which i think is amazing and obviously the biggest highlight of this year's edition is that the finale is going to be conducted in manipur which is incredible i can't wait to actually just to travel across northeastern india because i am obviously planning to go to the finale as well this time and the finale is going to be conducted in april so obviously for that reason the entire pageant had to be preponed now if you are someone who has been eyeing the crown of miss india for the longest time then this video is exactly what you needed and do watch till the end of the video because i will share not just the instructions and steps to follow but also a lot of tips and frequently asked questions that I've been receiving on my social media handles regarding the pageant. I will be making a very detailed, elaborate video where I answer all of your queries regarding the pageant that you guys have dropped on the AMA sticker that I dropped on my Instagram story in my very next video. So hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on that video when it comes out. I'm going to be clarifying all the doubts that you have. Now, if you want to register for Femina Miss India 2023, the first thing that you have to do is go to the official website. I will leave the link in the description box below for all of you guys to check out. And the first thing that you should have in hand is your four portfolio pictures that you are going to be uploading on the application form itself. Now, there are so many questions when it comes to these pictures. There has to be a no makeup shot and no makeup does not mean absolutely no makeup on your face, guys. It just means a no makeup look that is including minimal makeup, which makes your skin look really fresh and dewy and just, you know, hide maybe some blemishes, but you don't need to go ham with the makeup. If you want, you can obviously go and check out the portfolio shoes that we conduct at Conquer, my own pageant grooming academy as well, where we give contestants and students that enroll with us that perfect dewy, no makeup look during their portfolio shoot as well. And the other three pictures are again a close up shot, a mid shot and a full length shot. Now these you can call the glamorous shots and here you want to have makeup that is pageant appropriate. So if you are getting your shoot done, make sure that you have the pageant hairstyle, the pageant type of styling, the outfit, the lipstick, the false lashes. Make sure you don't use any dark lipsticks in these photos um, or really black smoky eyes. And make sure that the attention is going to you and your beauty and your appearance and not your outfit or maybe not the background. So that is something that you should keep in mind as to what is the objective of a portfolio shoot and what should be the focus in the picture. And in a pageant, it's all about you. One of the questions that came up a lot during the queries that I was seeing regarding the pageant was that, can I submit a photo that has been clicked on a mobile phone? Absolutely, yes. These days, smartphones have 
really good cameras guys and so it doesn't have to be shot with a professional camera as such as long as the picture is really really good and another common question was can i submit a photo of me from another pageant uh, where i have the contestant badge on my outfit or maybe you're wearing the crown that you won in some other pageant my answer to that would be to not submit those pictures because one, there could be an organizational conflict and at the same time, they want photos where you are directly looking into the camera and that have been shot specifically for this purpose alone. When you submit pictures or even, you know, sometimes contestants submit ramp walk videos of uh, them walking on the ramp for some other designer, some other brand in some other pageant and they end up submitting that as a ramp walk video for Femina Miss India. That is never a good idea guys. In fact, when such submissions and videos were made for even the winner scholarship contest at Conquer, we disqualified all of those entries. So you have to understand that when you are trying to apply for a certain position in a very dignified pageant, you have to show that you have taken the effort separately just to give your best performance there. And also when you do such entries, it also shows that you didn't really put in any effort to shoot your best version, which is your latest version. So your portfolio pictures should also reflect your current version, which is that if you have gotten a haircut since the last photo shoot, if you've lost weight since the last photo shoot, then always, always make sure that your photos and videos reflect the most recent form of you so that there are no surprises when they actually get to see you in person. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is the zonal format that is going to be followed in the pageant this year. It's been three years since Femina Miss India has followed the zonal format. The last time they did that was in 2019 when I was competing in the pageant myself. So it's really nice to see that format come back and obviously I will talk about what that really means. Um, how is the format going to make a difference and how many contestants will apply online, who all will go for the offline auditions. But before we dive into that part, I do want to take a moment and thank Kiro Beauty for sponsoring this segment of the video. You guys know I've been using Kiro Beauty products as part of my makeup routine for a while now and I have to say that some of their products have become such essential items in my kit. One of the products being the Kiro Beauty Waterproof Soft Matte Eyeliner Pen. This is the eyeliner that I have put on my eyes today and trust me guys, ever since I've gotten my hands on this pen, it's so easy to use and I can actually do this small winged eyeliner in just a matter of seconds with this. So if you're new to eyeliner and you would love to give that almond shape and elongate the outer corner of your eyes, then do try out this eyeliner pen. It's so easy for any beginner to use as well. The second product that I have been loving is this matte lipstick by Kiro Beauty. I'm using the shade Sandy Rose and this, despite being a matte finish, is very hydrating on the lips. I'm wearing this shade Sandy Rose right now and this lipstick is infused with apricot oil as well as avocado oil. Again, super pigmented and lasts on my lips all day. So definitely give these products a try and if you're looking to add that extra glow to your face with the holiday season right around the corner then don't forget to check out this beautiful dual tone highlighter by Kiro Beauty again this is also infused with rose hip oil as well as calendina oil and it glides on so beautifully onto your cheeks just look at that glow these products have become such a holy grail item for me and i love the packaging it's pretty simple it's affordable and it's skincare infused in your makeup if you want to try out these products and maybe begin practicing your makeup routine even for the pageant coming up then i will leave the links to all of these products in the description box below definitely check it out Moving on to the zonal format that is being followed this year. The first thing that you have to show as a part of your eligibility from maybe one or multiple states is the documents that you will need to provide for the same. Now there are three ways that you can be eligible from a state. It can either be your birth state, in which case you can show your passport or your birth certificate. It can be your current state, that means either you're studying there or living there or working there. So maybe your college ID, your employment letter, any of these things will work. Or you can be eligible from your native state, which means that you can show that your maybe your parents were born there or they own property there. And so an electricity bill or any residential proof in that matter would make you eligible for these states. A very common question asked 
here is can I provide just one of the documents and will that be sufficient or do I need to provide all three of those documents and my answer to that is provide all three of the documents and I'll tell you how that matters. I've seen that so many contestants sometimes don't even know that they are eligible from a certain state. So when you provide all three documents to the organization while they are shortlisting your online entry, maybe you applied from Maharashtra but based on your documents the team can see that you are also eligible from Bihar and maybe they seem to find that you are more suitable to be shortlisted from one of the Bihar finalists. So if you provide them all the documents you just increase your chances of getting shortlisted because it is up to the team and they will be deciding from which zone they want to call you from as a finalist. So how it's going to work is the organization has already announced the dates for the offline zonal interviews that are going to be conducted in different zones and so pro tip to you always get in touch with the finalists from the other zones and make sure to ask them everything that happened what questions were asked in their interviews maybe they'll have sub contests because that's something we had back in 2019 they've kind of combined the online and offline format in this way so there are obviously perks to it that at first you don't have to travel anywhere and you do get to shoot videos instead of giving an in-person audition but I do believe that it's just always better to finalize the results and pick state winners once you meet them because you can't always tell a lot about a person just based on an online interaction. Now once you have your documents in place then the next thing that you need to absolutely get is your height certificate and an attested one from a VLCC center. There is a helpline number available on the form itself so you can go find out which center is nearest to you and you also get complimentary services. So definitely do that and one other common question that was asked to me about this was that can I get the height certificate and give the same one that I got last year? I would not recommend that. See, you have to give your best and you have to put your best foot forward. And yes, those height certificates do have the dates written on them. And so if the organization can tell that this is a year ago and maybe she was measured a year ago, it's also possible that your height may have changed. So why take the chance at all? Make sure to get an updated recent height certificate only. And you don't have to worry the height certificate is free of cost at the VLCC center you do not have to pay any amount to get your height certificate from there. Now once you have all of your paperwork in place the next thing for you to do is obviously get in place your two audition videos to be submitted which is different from last year and all the editions so far that is they have not asked for a talent video this time which takes away the stress from a lot of people who feel that they don't have a performing talent. So I completely understand that part. Now here again, since there is no online app as a title sponsor this year, you have to be submitting and uploading these audition videos, which can only be up till 60 seconds. You have to upload them on your Google Drive and share the link on the application form. Make sure that you check the settings of that Google Drive file that is accessible to anyone who wants to view the file because I've seen so many times that people forget to give access to those files. So make sure that the organization does not have to do that and they may not take the effort to personally call you or email you and tell you that your links don't have public access. So make sure that you're very, very careful about those things. Another thing that is a part of the wrap up video is since because there is no app, so there is no limited music library, which means that you have the liberty to choose any song of your choice to be uploading your wrap up video. Now, if you're wondering about what type of outfits should you be wearing in your introduction and wrap up video, I've already made plenty of videos regarding this. I will leave a bunch of videos that will guide you through that process in the description box as well. But in your introduction video, make sure that you have a mid short frame something similar to the frame that I am uh, using right now but this type of top for instance is not something I would recommend for your introduction video because you are auditioning for a pageant. One rule of thumb that I have suggested to all of my Conquer students is that if you can walk into an audition looking that way then that is an appropriate outfit but if you're thinking that this is just online and I'm just shooting a video and 
this works for a video but I wouldn't go outside wearing that then that's not appropriate for your audition videos either. Now while you're prepping your audition videos another thing to keep in mind is use the same email and phone number that you are using and entering in this particular application form in every other place so that you don't miss out on any communication that might be intimated to you and make sure that you're constantly checking your emails check your spam folder as well if you feel that you're not being receiving any confirmation that you've applied and this is just really important and a part of the professionalism that is expected from a miss india candidate now the next thing that is a new addition to the application process this year is that every candidate has to make a payment on the grooming school website and purchase the ACR pageant course from their online course website and so the total amount is coming out to around 3000 rupees plus GST and taxes and so now that's an additional fee that is being levied on Miss India contestants this time and it is mandatory to make that payment for you to be able to proceed with the registration process and I know there have been mixed opinions on this particular addition to the registration process but that is a part of the registration process so make sure that you do that on time as well and they have a bunch of payment methods through which you can do that and yes you can choose to pay via an EMI payment method as well for the course so that it's not too heavy on the pocket if you feel that is the case. Once you enroll for the course, you will receive a unique code and this unique code will only match your application if the email address that you are using in your application form for Miss India and the email address that you enter on the grooming school website, they have to match. Make sure that you put the same email address guys um, and then you have to enter the unique code that you have received so that they can keep a track of all the steps being completed and that is all the steps that you have to do in order to finish your application process for Femina Miss India 2023 and the last thing to do is just wait for the results because the zonal results will come out by January in fact the first week of January is when they should be out and in the meantime make sure that you're preparing for your interviews don't wait for the results to come out if you're one of the serious candidates and you're not doing this just for the experience make sure that you have your zonal wardrobe planning being done beforehand at least have an idea of if there has to be a three to four day zonal format then make sure that you have the outfits that you will need for it make sure that you're practicing your makeup routines and if you're not comfortable with it right now hire a professional artist to do your makeup and hair for your audition videos and if you want to go through a very detailed tutorial of how to make sure of all the parameters possible in these video submissions then make sure to check the links in the description box below if you liked this video then do give this a big thumbs up and leave more of your queries that you possibly have in the comment section below i will be answering as many doubts as i possibly can in my next video on this channel so make sure that you have the bell icon turned on so that you don't miss out on that as always i love you guys so so much and i wish you all the very best for your miss india applications leave a crown emoji in the comments as well if you are applying i would love to see how many of my youtube members are going for miss india this year and i'm going to be coming here very often and sharing a lot more useful tips for your pageant preparation in the meantime, I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video.